Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yes. Great. Yes, good evening. Great. How are you today? Good. Okay, good. Today, I, I, I feel like today is Friday. I don't know why. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, there's no class tomorrow, correct? Or yes? I think no, teacher. Okay, because it's Father's Day, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you remember yesterday the simple present? Yeah. What is simple present? It's something we do or habitual action. Good. It's something we do. A habitual action, right? Yeah, so a frequency, yes? Yes. So actually, we're not as specific. We're not because it's like every week, every month, every day. Every day. What do women do every five minutes? Check Instagram, check Facebook, check um, WhatsApp. Well, men too, men too. Yes. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador, how are you, sir? I'm fine, coach. Okay. Did you understand yesterday's simple present? Yes, I understand. Good. Brenda Martinez, how are you? Fine, teacher, and you? I'm okay, thank you. Did you understand yesterday the simple present? Yes, teacher, I understand. Very good. Diana, how are you? Hi, teacher, I am fine, and you? Oh, good, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. So, did you understand yesterday the, the simple present? Yes, of course. Great, thank you. Patty Amaya, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. Great. Did you understand yesterday the simple present? Yes. Good. Hilda Gavidia, hi. Hello? No. Hi, I think I think we have a bad connection, Nilda. Okay, uh, Manuel. Hi. Hi, Manuel. How are you? I'm fine. All I'm right. Excellent. Good. So then, this is what we're going to do today. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's good. Okay, um, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to, okay, so yesterday, do you remember uh, class? Do you remember how to make simple present question? What's first? Why? When you make the question, what is first? Um. Double the question. Okay, WH question and next. You do. What do you do? Do you? Uh, plus. Uh, 
Yes. So the question is, what do you do? I'm sorry, what do you, the verb and the complement, correct? Yes. 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 Okay. So WH question, we have what? Where? What time? We understand this, right? Where, what, and what time? Do yeah. you, the verb and the complement, correct? Yes. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Josue Sandoval. Hi. Hi. Please write one question with where. Cordelia, please write one question with what. What? Adriana, please write one question with what time? Okay. Oh, what is what time, people? Excuse me? A few hours? Yes. Okay, Adriana. Okay. Good. Brenda. Yes. Hi, Brenda. Please write, yes. you write one question with where. Okay. Eric with what. Diana with, okay. uh, with what time. Okay. Josue, I'm sorry, Jose Salvador, please write with where. Hilda, please write with what? Okay. And Manuel, please write with what time? Okay, okay. Take, take two minutes, please. Tell me if you finish. Finish. Only one question? Yes. Finish. Yes. Finish. Okay, hold on. Okay. So Josue, finished? Yes. Okay, Josue, what was your question? With where, correct? Correct. Okay, Josue, please ask anybody. You, it's your option. Um, select a name. Select somebody. 
select Eric, Brenda, Judith, Adriana, whoever you want. Okay, este, Eric. Tell me. Okay, Eric, where do you run normal? Uh, where do you run? Mm, normally. Mm. Where? And uh, I, I run normally in the park. Uh, okay, thank you. Very good, very good question, Jose. Very good answer, Eric. But the the correct pronunciation is normally. Okay, normally. normally. Okay. Thank you. Normally. No, very good. Okay, so one more time, Jose, ask Eric the question. Okay. Eric, where do you run normally? Good. I run normally in the park. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Okay, class, did you understand the question? Did you understand Jose? Did you understand Eric? Yeah. Yes. All right. Good. Nice. Okay, Eric, ask somebody except Jose. Okay. Um, you did. You did. Hello. No. Um. Oh man. Buddy. Too bad. We yes, uh, Judith. I see, I see, but maybe your microphone doesn't work. Okay, so okay. Patty, Patty. Hello, okay. Patty. Hello. Hello. Uh, what do you think? Sorry, excuse me. What do you think? Hmm. What I think is is what it the question? Eh, ¿Qué estás pensando? What do you think? Ah, okay. Um, what I'm thinking um, right now about the class. Okay, is Eric question correct? Hello. Hi. Is Eric question correct? Eric said, what do you think? Que estás pensando? Is that correct? No, no. What do you think? Que piensas? Yes. Thank you, Manuel. Eric, okay. what do you think? Remember, there is a habitual action. Ah, okay. Y cuando uno dice, what do you think, is an opinion. For example, what do you think about, okay. uh, what do you think about the president? I think the president is good. I think the president is terrible. I think the president is okay. You know, but okay. when you say, what do you think? Remember, ayer lo que les dije ayer, no es el presente que ustedes piensan, no es en este momento. Yeah. No es que estás comiendo, no es que estás escuchando, es que comes, que escuchas. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, Eric? Okay. Good. Okay, Patty, please ask somebody. Except Eric and Josue. Okay, uh, Cordelia. Hi. Yeah, uh, teacher, con cual... ¿Con cuál le toca a usted, Patti? Mm, no escuché, perdón, o no sé si no me dijo. Oh, es que teníamos mala conexión, creo. Ok, you, you, usted coge, what, where, o what time? It's your option. Ok. Um, ok, Cordelia. Uh, where do you buy your shoes? What do you wear? Where did you buy your shoes? 
¿Qué le preguntó a Patty? ¿Dónde compra sus zapatos? Very good, thank you. Es que hoy I, I heard it. I am um, in Lishbus. Okay. Um, I am I am Lishus. I am Lishus. Or I buy my yeah. shoes in Lishus. Yes. I buy my shoes in Lishus. Very good. Okay, so very good. Where do you buy your shoes? I buy my shoes in Lishus. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Cordelia, please ask somebody except Josue, Eric, or Patty. Okay. Um. Uh, Judith. <clears throat> Judith. Hola. Hi, Cordelia. Hi. Oh, good. Welcome, Judith. Judith. Why do you dance in the beach? I dancing in vacation. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Why do you dance in the beach? Okay, oh, why do you dance in the beach? Very good, okay. I dance uh -huh. in vacation. Mm -hmm. Is that correct, Eric? On vacation? Is correct? Uh, no. Why? Uh, on vacation. No, but listen to the question. The question is... Ah, es, 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 um, I dance. In, I dance. Uh -huh. mm, the, the question is... Uh, again, but I'm sorry. Okay, no. Okay, but okay, good. You have to listen. The WH question is very, very important for your compliment. The question is, okay, in El Salvador, in Jamaica, I imagine people dance reggae. In Mexico, maybe people dance banda or, banda's nice. But in El Salvador, in the beach, people dance cumbias. <laughs> But in general, in general, for example, me, I am a rockero, but when I go to the beach, I listen to cumbias, man. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> the question, Judith, is what do you dance in the beach? Yo bailo en la playa. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Entonces, I am dancing. Cumbia. No. No, why not? Why no? ¿Quién dijo no? <laughs> Patty. Patty, thank you. Why? Um, she said I am. I, I think am, I am. it's only I. Yes, it's only yes, yes, I. Yes, thank dance. you. <laughs> thank you. I dance cumbia in the beach. Very good. Thank yeah. you. Good, Patty. Hey, vamos a hacer esto mejor. Yo solo voy a oír. Okay, Judith. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Ask, ask somebody except Eric, Josue, Patty, and Cordelia. Uh, Cordelia? Hi. Hi. Tell me if Judith is correct, okay? You're yes. the teacher now. I, I am only listening. Okay, okay Judith. Okay. okay um, Manuel? Hello? Hi, Manuel. Hi. 
Manuel, be happy. <laughs> what do you do watch on TV every night? Oh, repeat. What do you watch on TV every night? Um, I I watch in TV um, TV mm, uh, news news every night. Every night. Okay. Good. Cordelia is correct. What do you do? TV, very nice, dijo, verdad? I don't know. You are the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, entonces, dígale, uh, Judith, please repeat the question. Judith, repeat the question. Please. Okay, Cordelia. Please? Teacher Cordelia. <laughs> what do you watch on TV every night? Okay, and Manuel, your answer? I I watch I watch the news TV every night. Very good. Oh, um, Cordelia, is, <laughs> is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. Aunque Judy. Esa pregunta se me hace bien, bien conocida ayer. Como que si alguien, Ay, dice, no alguien hizo esa pregunta. No, pero ayer creo que, o oh, si no fui yo, alguien hizo esa pregunta. What do you do? What do you watch on TV every night? But yeah. it's good. It's good. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Manuel. Manuel. Okay. In, uh, uh, a question and the answer is correct. Yes, uh, I don't know. Cordelia, Manuel is correct too. Yes. All right. Good, Manuel. Good. Okay, okay, Manuel. Attack. Except Josué, Cordelia, Judith, Eric, and Patty, I think. And so, uh, and Judith, you're the teacher. Okay. I I don't see and everybody participating. Okay, you have Diana, Jose Salvador, you have Hilda, and you have Mafer. Uh, Diana. And me. And who? Brenda. Diana. Oh, and Hi. Brenda. I'm sorry, Brenda. Diana. Yes. Oh, what time do you go to work? Work. Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? What What time do you go to work? Okay. Um, I am no work. Uh, Judith, is correct or, or? I am. Repeat your question, please, Manuel. What time do you go to work? Okay. The answer? Uh, and the answer is I don't work. The answer is I don't work. I am no work. No, remember it? No, that. Yeah. Oh my God, yo me sigo metiendo. I'm sorry, Judith. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Diana, if I don't work. Okay. Repeat 
The question, Manuel, please. What time do you go to work? Yes, and Diana, answer. I don't work. Yes, good. Very good. Okay, uh, Diana. Is correct, is correct my question? What yes, time is correct. Do, do you go to work? Is correct, Judith? Do you go to work? To work. Yes. Good. All right, thank you. Diana, please ask Jose, Daisy, Brenda, or Hilda. Manuel, you're the teacher now. Okay. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Hi. I think Daisy is not here. Okay, good. So, um, okay. ¿A quién no le han preguntado? Es que, es que la cosa es que cuando alguien, cuando alguien se sale o entra, me desco, me, se me deshace la orden que yo siento, veo. Lo siento. No, 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 es ok, no solo usted, o sea, todo el mundo. O cuando alguien se sale o entra, se, de, se la... No sé si a ustedes les pasa, les ve lo mismo que se desordena la... ¿A quién no le han preguntado? Creo que a... A Hilda no le han preguntado. Mm -hmm. Brenda. Okay, ask Brenda, please. Hello. ¿Quién va a hacer la pregunta? Oh, my God. Patty, please ask Brenda. Okay. Hello, Brenda. Hi, Patty. Uh, what time do you go to the gym normally? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. I am um, no go to the gym. I am. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think. Um, um, the Ma excuse okay. me. Manuel, is the question and the answer correct? Mm -hmm. uh, the question, um, I think, is correct. The answer, um, saying no. Why? What, what is her answer? What does Brenda answer? Uh, Brenda, repeat the question. The question the or the answer? The answer. The, the question. No, no, the answer. Pat, Patty was the question. Brenda is the answer. Uh, Patty, uh, repeat the question. Uh, okay. Uh, Brenda, what time do you go to the gym normally? I don't go to the gym normally. I don't know. I don't sure. I will repeat the answer. Uh, but I don't uh, see the answer. I don't go to the gym normal. No. Sure. Okay, uh, I, uh, teacher, I think it's correct. Yes and no. Because, because she says, I don't go to the gym. Yeah, only. Yeah, so normally it's not necessary. Mm, nice, okay. nice. Okay. okay. Okay, good. Good observation, Manuel. Good question, good answer. Thank you. Okay, that was Brenda, correct? Yes. Okay, Brenda, can you please ask Josue Salvador? Yes. And the teacher now is Patty. Okay. Jose or Josue? Jose. 
José Salvador, the scientist. Okay. Jose. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Josue, have you heard this song from Coldplay, The Scientist? No. You are a scientist, correct? Yes, I'm a scientist. Co do you know Coldplay? Coldplay yes, I can ask. Coldplay. They, they have a the song, scientist. The Scientist. It's a very yeah, nice the, song. The, the, the song is Scientist. Yes, it's nice. I like the, yes. the acoustic version. Oh, yes. Come up to me to tell yes. you I'm sorry. Hey, I'm going to listen to Coldplay tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I'm sorry. It, okay. I, I will. I will shut up. Go attack. Brenda, okay. attack him. Okay. Hi, Jose. Jose. Hi. Jose. Um, where do you meet your friends? My friends live. In San Martin. No, meet. Meet. No, ah. sorry, pronunciation is good. Where do you meet your friends? Where do you meet? Your friends. Um, Where do you meet your friends? Uh, Teacher, is the correct pronunciation meet? Yes, I understand you. Where uh, do you meet? I understand you. Mm, okay. Um, Jose, where do you meet your friends? Meet, meet. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. I met. I met my girlfriend in the school. Okay, thanks. Okay, Patty, what do you think? Um, I think it is good. Oh, yes. And, and I'll repeat the answer, Jose, please. Sorry. I met my girlfriend in the school. Um, yeah, teacher. I don't know. I think the answer should be um, in past tense. Um, no, not really, because the question of Brenda's question is in present. As the minus, the, the minus meet is reunion, see? Yes. Okay. I usually uh, meet with my, with my friend. Um, conocer, yeah, conocer. yeah, porque ella estaba diciendo de conocer. Entonces, él le contestó de reunirse. Okay, I understand. El problema aquí es el verbo. Exactly. Actually, meet is two things. Mm. Es conocer y reunir. De una palabra, meeting. Mm. It's, the same. it's a reunion. Yeah. So, I understand that Brenda, she says, Jose, where do you meet with your friends? I meet with my friends in the park. I meet with my friends in my house mm -hmm. yeah cool. so teacher but, but but you said um where do you meet your friends okay yes i see the problem okay in this case is where do you meet with your friends with with, with your friends sí porque si no se se entiende teacher como si ella se lo preguntó en pasado dónde conociste a tus amigos si se refería a conocer Pero si es para reunirse, es donde te reúnes con tus amigos. Ah. Esa es la pequeña confusión que había, pero bueno, ahorita ya... Okay. Lo que ella realmente preguntó ahorita fue, ¿dónde conoces a tus amigos? Uh -huh. Mi madre me hacía esa pregunta cuando era chiquito, porque tenía amigos bien raros. Uh -huh. <ríe> oh, my God. Yeah, eh, o sea, eran todos rockeros, pelo verde, amarillo... Se oh. ponían. Entonces me decía, David, ¿dónde conoces tus amigos? O sea, ¿dónde los conozco? ¿Dó, ¿Dónde me meto para conocer gente uh -huh. así? <ríe> Entonces se puede decir así, ¿dónde conoces a tus amigos? Es, where do you meet your friends? O ¿dónde te reúnes con tus amigos? Es, where do you meet with your friends? Bien. Entonces está bien como yo lo tengo. Sí está bien, pero ¿qué es lo que quiso decir? 
¿De dónde conoció a sus amigos? No, entonces está mal. Y eso creo que es el punto de Patti. Para empezar, para empezar, ¿qué tiempo estamos viendo? Simple present. ¿Dónde conoció a sus amigos en el pasado? ¿Ya? Yes. ¿Dónde conoció a su novio, Brenda? ¿Dónde conoció a su esposo? O sea, ok, ya. Yeah. Yes, pero no, 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 no me digan así como, ah, oh, ok. No, hay una gran, gran diferencia de pasado a present. So, necesito que yes. sepan bien que es el simple present. Es como si yo digo, ¿dónde comen pupusas? ¿A, a dónde comiste pupusas ayer? Es okay. different. Ok, but... Okay. Good. Pero sí, ese, ese meet es un, un poco truquero, meet, ese verbo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces, de corren es, where do you meet with your friends? Yes. Okay. Le, voy, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Ok, ¿quién tengo aquí soltera? What? ¿Quién está soltera I'm, aquí? I'm uh, single. Ok, Patty. Patty, you are single. Oye, en esta pregunta, Patty, where do you meet boys? Ok, I meet boys at the gym. Ok, good. ¿Entendieron lo que le pregunté a Patty? Yes. yes. Conocer jóvenes. ¿Qué le pregunté? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde conoces tus amigos? Yeah. So, imagínense bien a alguien de San Miguel a uh, estudiar aquí en San Salvador, una chica, y conoce a Patty y le dice, hey, Patty, where do you meet Handsome boys in San Salvador. Patty, um, oh, and Patty says, oh, I meet handsome boys in San Salvador in, in Parque Centenario. No. <laughs> oh, okay, ahora, boys, ¿quién está soltero aquí? ¿Algún chico soltero? Oh, good. Ah, ya bien. Chicos honestos también. Eso tienen que buscar, chicas. Generalmente ahí todos dicen, yo, oh, mi teacher, I'm single, I'm single. No le gusta. <laughs> oh, quizás no le gusta nada. Ok. No. Entonces si yo le pregunto a un chico, hey man, where do you meet girls here? Y es una típica pregunta cuando alguien viene de visita que piensan que las mujeres se le van a tirar en los pies, pero no. Pero siempre preguntan, hey David, where do you meet beautiful girls here? And I said, oh, you meet beautiful girls in, en la Gran Vía, man. De las chicas que, así, wow, wow. Oh, anywhere, you meet beautiful girls in the mall. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. In the mall. Okay. Uh, who is next? Jose, please ask Diana. Um, Diana, what time do you study English? Good. Every day. Every day. Sorry? What time do you study English every day? I study English at 8 every day. 8 p.m. Okay. Nice. Correct, people? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good question. Yeah. Jose said, hey, uh, Diana, what time do you study English every day? Oh, I study English at night, at 8 every day. Good. At 8 p.m. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. ¿Quién está trabajando de casa ahorita? No? No. Oh, okay. Um, yo en el día yo trabajo en Google en Google la empresa Google uh -huh. yes. y entraba a las 6 de la mañana pero como estoy trabajando de casa antes me levantaba a las 5 y me iba a las 5 y media hoy me levanto 5 a las 6 uh -huh. <laughs> like solo para um, yeah ok Teacher. Yes. What do you do in Google? In Google, um, yes. I work with domains. Ah, okay. The domains, um, HTML. 
yes, I work, for example, with um, Coca-Cola.com, Pepsi.com, McDonald's.com. Yes. O sea, colocar las páginas para los buscadores. No, hablar con los administradores de esa cuenta, güey. Ah, ok. Para... Le voy a explicar rapidito, pero Google okay. es... Ustedes saben cómo funciona Google. Oh. Ok. Uh, un ejemplo, si ustedes van a trabajar a Simán. ¿Yes? Yes. Simán a su empleado le da un correo que es, por ejemplo... Eric Burgos, arroba Simán.com. ¿Yes? Yeah. Ese es Simán.com. Ellos le pagan a Google para hacerle la plataforma a Simán. Lo único que los administradores dicen, ok, tengo 400 empleados. A los 400 les quiero dar un correo básico. A estos 200 necesito que ellos tengan office. Estos 100 que tengan acceso a esto, etcétera, etcétera. Y así va hasta que dejan como, y estos 5 van a ser los administradores. O entonces, sea, que son correos empresariales. Exacto, entonces, y así, así pagan. Por eso es que muchas escuelas o colegios, eh, hoy me he dado cuenta, mi hijo estudia en pre -kinder. Pero él, um, él no hace clases en línea. Porque, y ahora mi sobrina, sí, clases en línea, pero ella estudia en el Guadalupano. Y tiene, entrega guadalupano.com. Entonces significa que Guadalupano está pagando el dominio de todos esos alumnos. O sea, está invirtiendo ese colegio. Sí, quiero. Ya. Yeah. En el ICA, así tenemos nosotros el correo institucional. Ah, el okay. mío es eric.burgos, número 18, que es del, el año en que entré. Ah, okay. Arroba ica.com. Ok, entonces el ica.com lo, lo, lo administra Hugo. O sea, tú, tú sos el dueño, tú puedes ponerle como quieras al final. Y tú lo haces como tú quieras. Entonces nosotros te damos acceso a qué es lo que tú quieres. Y así cobran, depende, 20, 20, 15, 10 dólares por usuario. So, so, imagínense, yo le llamo. Imagine Coca-Cola.com. Son 200 mil empleados. Y están pagando que 20 dólares por empleado. Son mucho dinero. Y tengo acceso a. Me puedo meter, por ejemplo, a elsalvador.com o. Y me sale todo el correo de los, de ellos. <ríe> es lo que hago. So it's cool. Pero la, la razón que le iba a decir eso, por ejemplo, yo trabajo en Google, entonces mi pregunta antes hubiera sido, what time do you wake up? You know, wake up every day. Oh man, I wake up every day at five in the morning. But now, with the quarantine, or now work from home, I wake up at 5.55 every morning. Y lo chivo es que mi jefe entra, entra como a las 11 de la mañana, entonces solo me logueo y me vuelvo a dormir. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, so at very six, good. It's very yeah. good. Yeah, so at six in the morning, uh, hey, good morning. And then poop, poop, I go to the sofa and I sleep. <laughs> yes. It's very good. Hey, for me, for me, the quarantine is good. It's nice. Por eso graba la semana pasada de que le iban a abrir este lunes. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, I said, oh no. The problem, the problem, maybe, maybe the problem is my son. He is terrible. Like, oh my God. Terrible. Jump, play. Yeah. Yes. So, poor teachers. Three. 
But uh, he's uh, two years. <laughs> two years. Yeah. Wow, I I understand you. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that teacher, uh, uh, yes. question. En en su caso entonces tiene que ir a una oficina a trabajar normalmente fuera de la cuarentena. Sí, a uh, uh, Telus. Uh, y, pero viéndolo bien, eh, bueno, no sé, eh, quizás sería mejor, en el caso de así como ustedes, sería bueno que mejor trabajaran desde la casa y no estar en la oficina, porque en la oficina es más riesgo de contagio. Sí, de, por, por cierto, la, ayer tuvimos una reunión que, aunque aunque ya puedan regresar los call centers, por lo menos nosotros, quizás hasta en noviembre vamos a regresar. Yes. Good. <risa> Good <for> you, <risa> Pónganse las pilas. Eh, ahorita Telus acaba de contratar Amazon. Imagine. Amazon. Solo entraban, creo, 600 personas de entrada. So, wow. Imagine good money from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So, you have to speak good English and you're okay. So, look. I I paint my house. Imagine the question, when do you paint your house? I paint my house every year. Okay. Because my son gets crayons and and paints the house, so I repaint my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hay que esconder el, hay que esconder el lápiz. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. Encuentran piedras, whatever. My daughter do the same thing. Really? Yes, it's, it's terrible. Yes. With, with my son in the house, I respect teachers more, kinder teachers. Yeah. Um, okay. Eric, you work. You work in ITCA? Yeah, no, no. I am a student. Oh, you're a student? I'm a student. Yes. Okay. Um, Adriana, you work. Oh, yeah. Adriana, you're a supervisor in a bank. Yes. In what bank? In Credomatic. Okay, Adriana. Um, and you live in Soyapango, correct? Oh, no, Santa Tecla. No, uh, Santa Tecla. Okay, you live in Santa Tecla. And Credomatic, where? In San Salvador or Santa Tecla? Where? San Salvador. Oh, in San Salvador. It's okay. So let's say Santa Tecla to San Salvador, maybe 10, 15 minutes in car. Mm, 20, 20 minutes okay so sí. what time what time do you wake up every day what what time do you wake up every day mm -hmm. wake up look um, remember me what? i okay. like uh -huh. Like me in the quarantine, I wake up at 5.55 every day. Mm. Five. Five. A.M. A.M. Very good. So I wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Repeat. What? Repeat. I wake up. I wake I up. Wake up. I wake up. Every Day. Five every day. Exactly. Okay, very good. I wake up at five every day. Good. Um, Diana, do you work? No, I study. All right. Where? Oh, but in this, in this moment, mm -hmm. you're on vacation, no? Um, maybe. I think yes. Okay. So, what time do you wake up every day because you're on vacation? I wake up um seven. At seven. Yes. Ah, uh, no, you wake up. But I, eight. but I get up uh, like at 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, yes. 
Okay, cool. I understand. Okay, nice. Okay, um, do you understand then? What time do you, when do you, where do you, correct? Correct. Now let's yes. practice in third person. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. now what's going yes. to change is does. When it's third person, it's not do, it's does. So, example, first person is this. What do you eat every morning for breakfast? I eat eggs every morning for breakfast, correct? Now, let's do a third person. What does he eat every day for breakfast? What does she eat every day for breakfast? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, this is something very important. This is the answer, look. Um, when it's third person, he or she, the verb is with an S. Okay, yes? The third person is only he and she. It, no? Yes, it. It, what is it? Object, animal. It, it is not a person. It is any object. He and she is a person. Yes. It. Yes, it's an animal. An animal and an object. Okay, so now. Hey. Now the question is, what does, what does he eat? What does he eat for breakfast every day? He eats. See, look. You see this here? He eats. So the difference between he and she and I is I eat, he eats, she eats. I drink, Jose drinks, and Cordelia drinks, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me see, let me see, let me see your memory. Manuel. Yes. What time does Adriana wake up every day? Uh, she, she wake up at five every day. Okay, she wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Judith, is this correct? Repeat that wake, question, wake. please, teacher. Okay. Yeah. She wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. Yes. Very good, Manuel. So my question is, what time 
What time? Does Adriana or she wake up every day? So I say she or Adriana, but yes. this is not correct. What time does she, Adriana, wake up every day? It's not correct. The only possible way is what time does she wake up every day or what time does Adriana wake up every day? Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Adriana. Hi. Hi. Let me see your memory. Where is... Eric, okay. Adriana, where does Eric study? Donde estudio. Eric. 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 What? No. Listen. Uh, Eric. Where does, does Eric, Eric study? Eric, study. Uh, Eric studies ITCA. Very good. Eric studies in ITCA. Nice. Studied. Very good. Very good. Very good. How is he does? No. Um, the He's... two possible ways are Eric, Eric studies in ITCA or he studies in ITCA. He studied. Uh, okay. Because the verb is study. Study. Okay. Now, now, if the, if the question is, does Eric study? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right. Good question. Okay. Um, Patty. Yes, teacher. Hi, Patty. How are you? Fine. Patty, are you married? No, I am not. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. What does he, he do? Uh, she study. He studies. She, she studies. Uh, sorry, he studies. Okay, he or she? He. Okay, he studies. Yeah. Okay, very good. Josue. Hi. Hi, Josue. Josue, you are married, correct? No. Are oh, you not married? No. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, man, you're happy. Yes, very happy. <laughs> Josue, where does Judith live? I'm sorry, where does Judith live? He's. Um, I'm sorry, Judith is, is a boy or a girl? It's girl. So it's she. It's she, no, he. She. She. She's. Uh, Firpo, remember Firpo? Firpo. Usulutan. Okay, so where does she live? She lives in Usulutan. Good, she lives in Usulutan. Noten yes. algo, en la pregunta el verbo siempre va formal, sin S. ¿Saben por qué? Por el das. Por el das. Por el das. El das lleva la S. Good. Yeah. yeah. So, so la respuesta lleva S. Todos los verbos se le va a agregar la S en la respuesta, o algunos que no. Solo en third person. Sí, me refiero que yes, siempre yes. que contesté Always. una tercera persona, todos. Always. Ah, ok. Yes. I eat, she eats. I go, he goes. I drink, he, she drinks. Ok. Ok. okay. Teacher, pero en, en esa hay, un, hay varias reglas para el cambio de sí, tercera pero... persona en los verbos. Sí, pero esa es la razón escrita. Porque no solo la S que se agrega. Eh, sí, pero eh, escritas. 
Pero, por ejemplo, um, hoy acabamos de hacer un verbo. She wakes up. A veces se le agrega IES o a veces solo S. Pero siempre se va a pronunciar S. Ok. Sí, yo, yo, decía, yo decía esto con respecto a lo que pregunté el compañero ahí, que siempre agrega una S. Sí, ah, sí, sí, claro. Fíjense que, ajá, muy, muy buena pregunta. Antes de irnos, le voy a decir, le voy a decir por qué no le puedo enseñar eso aún. Ustedes recuerdan cuando ustedes empezaron a, a hablar, cuando eran chiquitos. ¿Qué aprendieron primero, a leer o a escribir? A hablar. A... No, o, obviamente aprendieron a hablar primero, pero después, ¿qué, qué sí? O ¿Escribir o leer? leer. Se, se aprendió leer. junto. Se, bueno, sí, pero lo hicieron juntos. Iban a la palo todos, escribir y leer. Pero definitivamente nunca hubieran aprendido a leer o escribir algo que no podían hablar. ¿Ya? Yes. Y el inglés escrito es bien, bien feo. Complicado. Pero es, y esa es una de las cosas muy buenas de español. El español como se ve, se escribe y se pronuncia. Sí. El inglés no. Imagínense, esto se pronuncia así. Tatter. Bueno, si lo leemos en español. Tatter. Y es hija. Imagínense cómo se escribe. Donut. Imagínense, y es donut. Bueno, one. Así se pronuncia, ¿no? One o one. Y se escribe one. Entonces, por, por eso es, ahorita, eh, no se preocupen por escribir o leerlo. Realmente, no. Cuando... Cuando ya sepamos bien los seis tiempos básicos, ahorita estamos viendo el primero, simple present. Falta el simple past, simple future y los presents. Ya después vamos a volver a hacer esto, pero leído. Ya van a ver que, oh, cuando ya lo hacen leído, es mucho más fácil. ¿Ok? Ok. teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, entonces, así, así se usa el third person. He, she. Um, does, he, and she. Ok. La, recuérdenme que en la otra clase vamos a empezar con el famoso how often do you? How often do you eat pupusas? Entonces vamos a aprender los adverbios de never, I seldom. Often, I often eat. Okay, good. Yeah, I often eat. I never eat. I always eat. I sometimes eat. I usually eat. Vamos a aprender eso. Es el... Ajá. Sí, exacto. Gracias. Porque ya estamos los WH y hoy vienen los house. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay. happy Father's Day to your father tomorrow. No, thank you. Thank you, okay. teacher, you too. Thank you very much. Teacher, mañana va a haber clase. No, no. Okay. It's a holiday. Hasta el... Thursday. Uh -huh, correcto. Okay. Uh, on Thursday or at Thursday? Or in Thursday? <laughs> so, <laughs> next... Uh, oh, okay. Next class is on Thursday, in Thursday, or at Thursday? In two days. Oh, very okay. good. Okay, I like that. In two days, good. Oh, 
Thursday. On Thursday, because it's specific. Okay. Or okay. at like the end, no, 8 p.m. Thursday. Very good, yes. At 8 p.m. on Thursday. Next class is on okay. Thursday. Next class is at 8 on Thursday. Or next class is in two days. <laughs> Very good, okay? Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay, good night.